All right, guys, a little bit different video today. Not really, but kind of. Going to do something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. That is some ice camping. Got the Bearcat lined up uh, over there and uh, got all my stuff together. Going to load up here real quick. Going to head out on Lake of the Woods. Going to spend the night out here. Got about 10 inches of ice on the area that I'm, I'm going to be going to, 8 to 10, somewhere in there. Got some crappy weather coming. It's going to get warm, maybe some rain, but... As of right now, I'm gonna get this thing unloaded, get everything loaded up, get out on Lake of the Woods, try to catch some walleyes as the sun is going down. All right, we got some busted up, nasty, rough ice here, but gonna punch a few holes and uh, see if we can't catch some walleyes. So let's get to it. Let's see where we're at here. Call that good. Get on down there and see what we can find. Oh, there's the bottom search flicker coming up. Oh, up and down. Must be a small one. Came up and took a look at it. Here he comes again. Come on. So we can give it a chase it a little bit. Chase it a little ways. Oh, that's that's irritating when they come up and look and then they won't bite. Swim over to that deadline then and take that one. If you want to be so finicky. It's kind of that same situation in a little bit shallower. The sun is probably just uh, starting to hit the trees. Now it's clouded up a little bit. The light condition is a little bit better for these fish. Hopefully, I don't know, I'm kind of surprised I couldn't get that one to bite. Usually if they come up and look at it and they chase it a little ways, They'll usually commit, but it doesn't seem like they're super aggressive today. Oh, bobber line's down. Bobber line's down. Oh, and it come back up. Dang it. The line's frozen on the ice. He let go. There he is. There we go. Not big by any means, but it's a little walleye. And now we've got something to eat. Not much, we'll need a couple of fish like that, but we're gonna keep him for a catch and cook tonight. All right, we're on the board. Put another minnow on. So luckily he came back and, and uh, bit. So that came on the using the buckshot from last time and just a minnow head. I'm actually got to put a treble hook on there. My treble hook got a little bent. So that's something you got to watch too. If your hooks get bent, you know you can try straighten them in a pinch, but it's uh, it's not huh, the best to have bent hooks. So let's get that back down there. So I think the smart thing to do is to be to coil my line like that. Like I just did there, so when the bobber goes down, it doesn't, it's not caught on the ice and pulls. Could kind of set the hook, but more, more than likely it's gonna take the fish off. Well, yeah. my luck will be. Get the wrap back down there. 
see if we can catch another. I'm starting to have marks show up all over the place here, but they're not biting, so I'm assuming that they're small. Some, sometimes if you get a couple, you get competition and one will take it, but it'd be really nice to run into some perch. A couple of perch for supper would be great. Still just piddling around. Well, since I'm getting all these little fish that are uh, pecking away at my lures and not biting, I think I'm going to go ahead and set up my otter and kind of get everything situated and see if there's uh, anything that bites a bit later. Get everything set up, situated, and uh, do the cook part of this. Uh, not even half a day fishing, it's a quarter day. So, all right, so I kind of tried to find the best smoothest spot of ice I could find around. A lot of it's really, really busted up, chunked. Kind of want to have as even of a surface as I can. It's going to be super easy to set up because there is no wind, which is pretty rare up here. That's why those days like that are extra, extra special. You just take your tent, kind of Throw it behind the wall. Like so. Usually try to find a door. Seems like when you got a little bit of wind, these are not fun to set up, but no wind makes it real easy. Now, put up the roof. Bottom pulled out. So since there's no wind right now, but I'm going to be staying here all night, and I think the wind is supposed to come up tomorrow, I'm going to put all the pegs in, all the, every, do everything right, but super handy if you have a drill. I don't have the attachment, so I just use a drill bit. Drill a hole. So these are just the little workout pads, whatever that you see in gyms and stuff. I'm sure you've seen them a million times. I guess I, I could have taken the spud bar and chipped off some of these high spots, but I don't really feel like putting that much ambition into it. So I'm gonna start moving my stuff in. Okay, so we're back. Got everything kind of sort of organized in here as best as I can. And I don't have it on camera, but it's kind of nice actually because, well, not nice that I don't have it on camera, but I was putting everything away, getting everything kind of organized, and I decided to drill a couple holes in the house because I plan on leaving a line down while I'm just messing around here tonight. So I'm putting stuff away, look over, bobber's down. Ended up uh, reeling up another small walleye, but now I for sure have enough fish for supper tonight. So in Minnesota, on, well, on Lake of the Woods, it's a special regulations lake. So in order to cook fish on the ice, before you can fillet your fish, so before you take knife to fish, you got to have your oil on your cooktop, have your oil hot. So I'm going to do all the other preliminary things beforehand to get ready. I'll take my, just using Shore Lunch original here. Take and put a little bit in the bag. Now, obviously, when you're, when you're ice camping... You don't have a whole kitchen here, so I don't have eggs and milk and Italian breadcrumbs and all that other stuff to, to really make this a gourmet meal, but just take a little shore lunch, put it in a Ziploc, gallon Ziploc bag. That should suffice. So you also have to retain your carcasses, and I don't, I'm not going in tonight, I'm sleeping on the ice, so I won't be 
bringing my fish carcasses in, so I'll have them tomorrow. Now I'll get my little stove going, which I don't have the greatest thing. I was looking at the Buddy Flex heater, but after watching some reviews on YouTube, I'm not too sure that I want to get one. Sounds like uh, cold weather. It could be a kind of a not the greatest thing. I don't know. If you have a Buddy Flex and you've had good luck with it, super cold temperatures, let me know in the comments. So you take your oil. I just like to put about a quarter inch in it probably try keep it as even as i can that's probably gonna be good enough it's gonna go to one side a little bit more because we're not on a level surface here but all right so now we're good to fillet fish so let's take little walleye number one and i if i'd been thinking i would have bled them out okay so one way to tell if your oil's hot enough you're ready to cook your fish is take a little piece of water and if it does that, it's hot. Nice golden brown. Oh, that looks delicious. Well, let's taste it. Oh, yeah. It's a taste of Lake of the Woods right there. Straight from the water. So if you're gonna do some camping on Lake of the Woods, ice castle or whatever, and you wanna you want to uh, cook some fish on the ice, you just have to You just have to have your oil going on your stove while you're filleting fish or prior to before you're filleting fish and then you'll be in accordance with the, with the uh, statute. So I'm going to eat my fish. I'm going to put a couple lines down. And if something important happens tonight, if something cool happens tonight, I'll be sure to let you in on it. Otherwise, we will see you in the morning. survived it was not overly warm last night the sleeping bag says it's rated to 20 below I can tell you that it's not I would not want to sleep in this thing at 20 below I have a 40 below sleeping bag and I would be roasting in that one like my skin is cold uh, laying on this cot but this cot did really well but I'll get up and turn the light on so you guys can see what's going on Wind really stinks. Heat wind. Definitely won't be much moving around today, probably. Get some coffee though and everything will be a little bit better. set up here real quick and then we'll be right back all right so I'm kind of get trying to get set up here getting going a little bit later than I planned on but just trying to get everything lined up and all this stuff going but I want to get this line down so I can start fishing anyway I had a line down all night no hits on it I am in uh, 16 feet of water and I'll get this line down I'm gonna get some stuff put away and then I'm gonna make some breakfast. All right, gonna make some breakfast. Get in my cooler here, get my breakfast skillet. 
these uh peak refuel these breakfast skillets they're really 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 good and if you use a tortilla and put this stuff in it's even better so i'm gonna get this thing going need a little bit of water I need two cups of water so that little flame thing on the side of the jet boil will actually turn orange when it's boiling oh we got a fish on the screen too actually came in above my bait that'd be something we'd get him to bite I caught one a little bit ago when I wasn't ready wasn't filming yet a small one but bummer uh, little mark this one is just let it sit there for a minute see if we could sit still feel entice him to come and bite he didn't hit the dead stick though either so okay so these you just peel the top off if you're not familiar with these freeze dried foods open them up and there's a little uh packet of well whatever it is you gotta take that out you can see it's pretty much full to the top of good stuff in there when your water boils you just dump it in seal it up shake it up and 10 minutes or so you got breakfast so we are now boiling turn it off and we'll pour our water into our pouch here I might have got over just over two cups just a hair sometimes it's better to put just a little bit less in than what they say. I get my spoon here and push the stuff down a little bit. Yeah, that's good stuff. Give it a shake. This one absolutely has to sit for 15 minutes. So I'll just sit there and And we'll check it in 15 minutes. All right, so our 15 minutes has elapsed. Give this just a little, little more of a shake. Should have sucked up most of the moisture by now. Maybe put just a hair too much in. Some of these meals, if it says two cups, you should put just under two. And some it's just over. So it just kind of depends if, if you get some experience with one versus the other, then you know. But this looks pretty darn good right here. Just kind of take my spoon and put that, mix it up just a little bit. Here, get some of this skillet stuff in here. So I think there's potatoes in here, eggs, sausage, some peppers, really good stuff. And actually, this breakfast is quite a meal too. It's uh, I think I can make like four or five of these. Good stuff right there. Yeah, just take and roll that baby up. And you've got some good, good eating right there. Come on, bite. Come on. There we go. Finally broke the silence here. It's a little guy, but a real little guy. But it's a little walleye. A one-eyed walleye. Whoa! Slipped right out of my hand. One-eyed walleye. It's not real common. Hopefully we can catch some more and catch some bigger ones here. I let my bait sit for quite a while as I thought, well, maybe it's, you know, it's real windy, sun's out. Maybe I'll just let it sit for a little while and I let it sit for about 15 minutes. As soon as I picked it up, started jigging, boy, he just come flying up off the bottom and smoked it. So maybe do a little more aggressive jigging with the jigging wrap here. Oh, we got something moving here. 
if he's uh, on my deadline or if he's on if he's gonna move up to me here. I set my deadline a little bit. Oh, oh he's on the deadline. I just seen a pop. Yep, there it goes. He's not really taking it down very, very slowly. Oh, didn't even feel him. Seen a little mark flickering on the bottom and bang, a little sauger. A little sauger. Might be nice to get some, oh, now the deadline's down. Is this a double? Get this guy sent back. If there's anything on there, it might be just, it's just waiting. So I'm having some bobber flotation issues with this one. Seems like when they get waterlogged after a while they're not any good. So I'll stick this guy up here and see if I can get him to dry out. And this one I'm having a little issue with my bobber stop. I like to keep my bobber stops really, really small. So when you're outside fishing you don't have a, those big tag lines and icing issues but these bobbers or stops are just a little bit seems like they're too wide where they attach uh, it's holding it now so that'll work get back down here and see if we can get another one I'd like to move out a hair deeper but I am limited on time today unfortunately so we're just gonna work this out. I have caught some pretty decent walleyes and some pretty nice pike in this area about this time of year so we'll just kind of see how it plays out here. I already got one down there. A little, must be little. Came up to inspect it anyway but he ran off. No, he's, he's there. Oh, he was on. Little guy. He took my, no, he didn't get my minnow head. Back down there and see if we can get up here. Just work down real slow to him there. He stopped. Let's see if we can get him to come up here. Let's see if we can get him to come up here. getting moved around got a fish on there I just got hit on the jigging wrap and missed there we go hey we got some fish moving through now just a minute ago caught a 17 incher no a little bit smaller but it is a walleye it is a walleye rebaited and get these lines back down. We got some fish moving in finally. Well, fishing's really slow. Not that it was really fast and furious at all, really, but I did have a flurry there where I caught a couple nice little walleyes. Would have been good eater fish, but I let them go. Not gonna bring any fish home this time. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Maybe it'll inspire you to get out ice camping. Doesn't take a whole lot. You just gotta have a good pop-up. I recommend a quilted one for sure. A heater, a cot, a decent sleeping bag, a little bit of food, a little bit of luck, and you can do a catch and cook too. But anyways, I hope you can get out and enjoy God's great outdoors, and we will see you on the next one.